Hey guys, RGJ Ronnie here, and we're back again with part 8. I can't keep track of the parts, I'm just that bad at maths. Anyway, I skipped a small bit ahead after I got past Mr. Tons of Fun back there, and I'm still looking for the flow rod, I think it is, and I have no idea where that could be. It's supposed to be in the inner study room. But I've checked all three rooms and I found absolutely nothing. This flow rod is absolutely impossible to find. It just eludes me. Because I know well I checked in here. It's I mean, it's nowhere obvious. It's not just stuff behind here. Because normally I'd see a glowy glow from it. Although I haven't checked here, this could be a possibility. Nah, it's not under the keyboard lid. It's not thrown up here. It's not hidden behind here because this game has a habit of behind hiding uh, even the smallest of shit in awkward places and I've already opened this tray here, this treasure chest and I already got an antron oil or some other shit from it mm. And it's not a, it's not on any of the shelves. It's not in here. It's more obvious because these objects, they, these have a distinct glow from them. So so they're somewhat easy to find without being too easy. And I've already checked this room to the death under the table unless this innocent little birdie is hiding it no, not clickable well, damn well, Alexander, you're looking fine and dandy you murderous psychopath And I can see Yorick was one of his victims. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Uh, let me check my notes again. The full set of three rods is unavailable. There is one rod in the inner study rooms, which might be might work in case the elevator breaks down again I'll see yeah 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 there's supposed to be one rod in here but I can't seem to find it ooh lantern oil and hold on the cracked window panes are held together by a weak wooden frame oh I know what to do here there we go, we just use our superpowers. Uh, oh, I think I know where this is going to lead me. It's going to lead me past rubble. Okay, just want to back up a bit just so I can grab this. Oh, okay, there we go. Jeez, all right, Mr. Feisty Pants. Don't take your anger off me. And now we have to search he off. Ooh, it's one of these thingies. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. 
Mankind is not wasted a bread. Or, mankind is not even wasted a bread. Yet I bow to you. I've done so much for you, and I've gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was who in all it was I I who in all fairness should have entered that gate. I've no idea what he's talking about. And here is the rod that has eluded me for so long. Okay. Elevator machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use steam. Make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up it and down it. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Turn these steam set functions to four phase amplitude complete flow cycle or complete steam flow cycle sheets. I am bad today. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Okie dokie. Let's see, do I even need to use this? Not really. Uh, but still. Better be safe than sorry, and there's, is there anything else I need to pick up here? No. Gonna go through here. Yeah, I was right. I was thinking there was another way around. That window wasn't really that obvious. So you couldn't really make out it was cracked until you got up close. Carefully, all right. No need to be such a cheeky bollocks about it. Okay, let's try this shit again. Okay, yeah, fucking parkour this shit. At least now we're making a bit of progress. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned actions, or whatever it said. Oh yeah, we're definitely making progress now. These weren't lit up before, were they? No, they weren't. And this thing wasn't spouting blood. And Jesus. Oh, aren't you a handsome fellow? Oh. Now shit is really getting real. Uh, really getting real. Might have been much as a range of notes that you don't have any cases of the whatever. Now, hopefully, Mr. Tons of Fun won't be down here. So, I'm just gonna close this in just in case he is. What was that? Exactly, what was that? So, uh. Said up eight, down eight. Whatever, adjust levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up 8 and down 8. Up 8 and down 8? I don't get it. I think I kind of 
gadget. Did something happen? Did anything happen? No. making my head hurt. Up eight and down eight. <sighs> Unless I think I have it. That's three and three. See how it goes, but it's really confusing, especially with the Roman numerals. That is three, right? Yeah. Just gonna get a box so I can stand on it for a better view. So, so you have to add to the value eight up, eight down. Mm. and you'll knock it. That's what I go to school for. That's what I learned in school. How to use levers. And how to add values in Roman numerals. Now all that is left is rods. They should be slightly easier. This is the rod rule. Am I right? Of course I'm right. I'm always right. What do you want about? Alright. Okay, fine be out in a minute. So if I just insert this rod in here. Alrighty then. Oh yeah, and you might have noticed I skipped way ahead. Actually I put the two levers or the two rods in here. Didn't even think I put them in the right place, to be honest. Just a complete wild guess. Because I did fiddle about with them before. So now all that is left is to yank this up and down. Or just down, down and loop. So now we got our trap working. And hopefully this pair tons of fun will chase us around the place. Whoa, 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 shit. Alright. 
Okay, calm down. Just calm the fuck down. Ouch. Alright, well, so I guess we're going further deep down to the castle. Raspberry jam all over the place. That is just lovely. Uh, I'm not going to enjoy this. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and they collapsed on the floor. He reached from the glass to rock grab on the set of the We're still making progress here, that's the main thing. Come on. Oh, it's just a flame. That was um electric city. Look, I still fiddle with this. Am I supposed to do something just to make it stop? Carefully treading the unknown land, he looked over his shoulder at his travel companions. The outrider touched the brim of his hat as a final blow. Toy crapper alive. Okay, get your ass up. Shit, you survived all that? Hmm. This way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. A dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Okay, another piece of dialogue between Alexander and Daniel. But before I go anywhere, I'm just going to check this room out. Just in case there's any tinder boxes or what you call it laying about. Aha, so more of the pulling and dragging. Let's see, do I remember how to do this? Of course I do. Although I think I may have fucked this up. Mm hmm okay. Can I pull out even more? No. Can I do the pulling routine with this rock here? Hmm. Wait, which way does this door open out? Is it this way? Yeah, it is. So I need to do the whole pulling and dragging of rocks again. <sighs> this could be a pain in the ass. Wait, I got it, I got it. I don't got it. Now I got it. Okay. Progress is being made, slowly but surely. Just gonna fuck this over here. Can I drag this in a little bit? No? What about this? No, that ain't budging. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
going to do the same with this. Actually, you know what? Can I push this out? No, I can't. Ah. <coughs> this may take a while. Okay, now just move this boulder. Wow, this place already sounds like it's going to be tons of fun. And there's nothing here. Take out the old lantern. Joy is me. This place looks really, really fun. And you know what? I'm not going to use the lantern much. I think I'll just stick to the shadows. Used to toward torches. Uh, there's a bed here. Another cinder box, which is going to be useful. And I'll be honest, I'll probably quit doing this at some point when it becomes way too scary for me to play anymore. And on that note, I won't be doing Resident Evil 4 either because it turns out it doesn't run in HD on my computer, and I was really looking forward to that. I really was. But until I get a proper graphics card, that Let's Play ain't going to be happening, so I'll probably do something else like Shenmue. Shen was a good game I've played on the Dreamcast. Didn't really get too far in it though. Just a break from the indie horrors, because I don't dedicate this channel to just indie horrors like other Let's Players or YouTubers do. Because I want this channel to be unique. I keep hearing people moaning, but I don't see him. I never see other people. Be, be quite the sight for sore eyes and a sledgehammer. No, just a just hammer. Okay. Shh, be quiet. Oil, although I don't think they'll be using it much. Oh fuck! Okay, I'll be a good prisoner. I'm going nuts. The medical barrier to improve the health and deal wounds. Yeah. Damn it, I'm about to collapse. Okay. Just gotta do 
this really quietly. <laughs> Jeez. Turn this shit on. Cause it looks like as if he's about to do the old belly flop. Oh, crap. Still think I wouldn't have to go in here. Wait. No, it, this is definitely jammed. Oh, no. Alright, anyway, I think I'll end this part here, even though we didn't really encounter any monster tank. Fuck. Well, at least we're making progress. Hopefully, I'll won't be a big bubbling baby like last time and almost quit the damn thing and actually see this game through to the end uh, yeah so so far I'm scared shitless I'll be honest I'm just scared out of my mind and that is it basically so I'll see you guys in the next one see ya